Okay, so let's start assembling. I'll use the X reference command. Remember the shortcut for it is just XR. And from here, I will insert the drawings that I need. So all the previous three dimensional drawings I created before are located here. I'll highlight them all. Choose open. And then choose OK. From here, I'll bind these to my drawing. So I'm just going to highlight them. Choose right click, bind, and then I'll select OK. Once they disappear, they are a part of my drawing. I'll just close. Let's take a look at this in an isometric view. And then we can start separating these. So I'm just going to move them to where I can see all of my parts. What I like to do is with these ones that have a center to them, I'll draw a line through them and then I'll change the color. So what I'll do is I'll start with the line command. Make sure that my ortho is turned on. And I'll choose this center. Go all the way back to this center. Select the line. Do a right click and go to properties. Once I see this, I will change the color of that line. And I usually make it red to something that I can see. And I'll do the same on this one. So I'll create a line from this center. And then I'll go to this center. And remember I'm picking the outside center. Because you should have two of them that appear. But make sure you're picking the one that's furthest to the right. I also want this line to show up red. So I'm just going to use the match properties command. Shortcut for match properties is MA. I'll select my source one first which is the red line here. And then my destination will be my other line that I created on the other side. Let's move this one from this midpoint to that midpoint. So I'm going to move and I'll select both of these. Make sure that you have that line selected. And like I said, I'm going to choose the midpoint of that line. Then I will place it on the midpoint of that line. Looking at this from the front view, you can see that now these are in line with each other. Next, I'll go ahead and place my bushing. And I'm going to place it along this side of this object. So I'll go to move, select my bushing. I'm going to do a shift and right click and tell it to use the center. Because I'm going to use this center located here. Now I'll place that center at the center located here. Take a look back at this in isometric, and you can see now that I do have that center of that bushing placed in the right location. Okay, so let's switch back to the front view. And then I'm going to use the mirror command to mirror this bushing to the other side. So I'll choose mirror, select your bushing. And what you want to do is make sure that you select the midpoint of your line. So I'm using the O snaps just to make sure I go to the midpoint. And now it's asking me for a second point. And you can see as I go up and down, that other bushing should appear on the other side. So I'll click one time below and enter. You can see that I do have both of my bushings in place. So now, 
I'll draw a line from the top midpoint of my base coming down a distance of 37 and then I'm going to go up in the positive Z direction 60. If you want you can go ahead and match the properties of both of those lines just so you see them. And remember the shortcut is MA. Select your source which is this red line. And then I'll select my other two lines as my destination. Let's move these objects And I'm going to move them from the midpoint of my red line to the end point of this red line. Let's go ahead and delete all of those red lines. And one easy way of doing that is if I highlight, well, I'll go at it this way. I could show you a, a, a easier way, but I think just selecting them should be easy enough. It's only five lines. And I'll select that line as well. So if I look at this from the front view, you'll see that I have my roller, my bushing, and my spindle all in the right location. Next, I'll go ahead and place this base in the correct location. So I'm going to move, select my base. I'll select the bottom center and I'll place it on this top center. Let's look at this from the front view. I'm going to switch my UCS to align with my view. I'll use the mirror command. I'll select my bracket. Then I can choose any midpoint along this line and come straight down and click below. I'll reset my UCS. And then I'll align it. Let's switch it over to shades of gray. I close my properties windows and I can save this one as my assembly.